Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. If you're not a current subscriber, make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. Hit the like button because you're going to like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. With all of the major trading platforms now moving to $0 commission free trading, this may cause some people who've been using those free app based products like Robinhood or M1 Finance to maybe move over to the major platforms or maybe if they've been using both, maybe to consolidate to using only one. While this is possible, there are some people who their first investing platform may have been an app like Robinhood or M1 Finance or SoFi Invest. And so maybe that's not enough to make them move over to the platform, but maybe for those who have been using both over time, maybe it's enough for them to only use now that Charles Schwab or that TD Ameritrade account. But there is one area where if you've been using this type of platform in the past, the fact that Charles Schwab and TD Ameritrade are now commission free will not make a difference for you. And the feature I'm talking about is fractional share investing. Now, fractional share investing, also called partial share investing, is where you can buy just a piece of a stock. So let's say you wanted to buy a company like Apple. Their stock is over $200 and you only have $20 and you really want to invest in Apple, you want to buy that one share. But in order for you to invest, you'd have to build up to get at least $200 just to buy one share. This is where a fractional share investing platform works best for you. Now, as far as I know, none of the big name major investing platforms, including Charles Schwab, E-Trade, TD Ameritrade, Fidelity, none of those platforms actually allow you to buy a partial share. So to use a higher price stock to make my point, if you wanted to invest in Amazon right now, which is nearly $2,000 per share, you would need to have at least $2,000 to buy just one share of Amazon. And so let's say you only had $100 that you could invest every month. That's the only money that you can invest based on your budget. And you wanted to save that $100 every month so that you could eventually be able to afford to buy Amazon. At its current price of nearly $2,000, you would have to save for 20 months. That's nearly two years of saving $100 a month where you're not even actually invested in Amazon. You have that money hopefully in a high yield savings account, but maybe you don't, maybe you have it in your checking account. But if you do have it in a high yield savings account, maybe you're getting 2% or maybe closer to 1% since interest rates are actually moving down at the current moment. So if you have to wait 20 months, almost two years, just to be able to afford one share of Amazon. And not to mention that a year from now, or almost two years from now, Amazon stock could be $3,000 for one share. And so you could potentially be chasing Amazon for the rest of your life if you only saved that $100 and waited until you could afford to buy one share. Now, this is a more extreme example, and there are different ways that the company could actually make their stock cheaper. Uh, using Apple as an example, just a few years ago, I believe in 2014, they had a stock split where they split the price of their stock by seven. It was a seven to one stock split. So if not for Apple doing their stock split, their stock would actually be worth $1,400 right now instead of $200. So you would have that same problem where you're basically chasing after a certain stock based on their price if it's a high price stock that you really want to invest in and you don't have a lot of money to actually invest. And one of the most important things, which is kind of a cliche, but it's true, is that timing the market is not what's most important. It's the amount of time that you are in the market. And with fractional share investing, for someone that's just getting started with investing or maybe doesn't have a lot of money to invest, buying fractional or partial shares allows you to get into the market sooner. And with these platforms, for many of them, you can invest with as little as $10 and with some of them, even less than $10. So if you wanted to get an Amazon, which is near $2,000, instead of having $2,000, you could invest just $100 into Amazon and it would buy a partial share of Amazon. So using the $2,000 mark as an example, just for easy math, if you had $100, you would be buying 0.05 shares of Amazon. That's 5% of one share of Amazon with your $100. But the great thing about this is that you can continuously do that every time you have $100 available or every time you have $5 or $10 or $20, depending on the platform that you use. And I'll go into the names of the different platforms that you can actually use to buy a partial share of many of the companies out there that are available. Now imagine if Amazon, what if their stock goes up 10% this year? If their stock were to go up 10%, using the example of Amazon stock being at $2,000, if they were to go up 10%, at the end of the year, their stock would be worth $2,200. So if you were saving your $100,
you would have missed out on that 10% gain because you weren't able to invest your $100 on one of the bigger platforms or some of the other free trading apps that don't allow you to buy partial shares. And so by using one of the platforms that does allow you to buy partial shares, you're able to gain that 10% as well. So while you don't have $2,000 and you're gaining $200 with that 10%, your $100, assuming that's all you were able to invest for the whole year, your $100 is now worth $110 in Amazon stock. Now you're not gonna get 10% gain from any savings account out there that I'm aware of. If you are aware of one, definitely leave that in the comment. I'll definitely check it out, but I doubt there's anyone out there giving 10% just for a savings account. So I'll go through a list of the available platforms out there that actually offer the ability for you to buy a partial share of stock. Now the first list are the free trading apps that also allow fractional trading. And that would include M1 Finance, which is one of my favorite platforms to use, Public, formerly known as Matador, and SoFi Invest. Now with all of the platforms, you may not have access to every stock that's publicly available, but most of the big names that you would think of like an Amazon or an Apple, those are usually available on those platforms. Now there are three others that do currently charge a fee and those would be Motif, Folio First, and Stockpile. But I would imagine if you saw my previous video with those bigger platforms now not charging fees, they no longer have a commission for their trades. I would assume that these three platforms will soon be free as well. But in order to continue to compete with all of these platforms offering free trading, I would imagine that sometime soon, those three platforms will provide free trading as well. Now, one that I forgot to mention is StockTwits. They actually released their app during this past week when there was the announcements of all of the bigger platforms having free trading. They released their app on Apple iOS. So it's actually available for download now, although you may have to join the waiting list in order to get it. But with the StockTwits app, which is actually called Trade App, they have free investing and they also have fractional share investing. So make sure you check that out. I'll have a link in the description so you can join the waiting list if you would like to. Unfortunately, at this time, it's not available for Android users. Now, if you're aware of any other platforms that maybe I left out where you can buy fractional shares, make sure you leave a note in the comments and I can do a review of those platforms in the future. If you have a favorite out of the apps that I mentioned, leave that in the comment as well. I will have links to all of the platforms that I am aware of also in the description, including reference links because some of those platforms do provide a bonus when you use a referral link to sign up for their platform. If you like this video and you like to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the AJ Mobile Money Nation by hitting the subscribe button down below hit the like button because you really like this video and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time i create a video again thanks for watching guys have a great day